Hey, it is Carmen Chloe of CoachCarmenChloe.com. I am the clarity coach for young Christian widowed moms who want to gain clarity on how to grieve, heal, and live again after the loss of their spouse. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about it is your right to be happy again. Do not feel guilty about that. It is your right to be happy again. Do not feel guilty about that. Uh, I had a conversation recently with a, a widow on this journey and they were talking about how they they were trying to live again, but they were having difficulty. And then I learned that this woman, um, they were, they're dating somebody and they had been widowed for a couple of years, but they said they felt guilty as if they were, um, I think they used the word betraying, they were betraying their late husband. And um, initially I told the person to give themselves grace, but when they explained that they had been widowed for six years and that they um, were feeling guilty about you know, their late husband and then this new man that they had in their life, I had to put a disclaimer like, hey, this is gonna sound extremely harsh, but live your life. Like your, your late husband is no more. He, he, he is no more. And I know that sounds really, really harsh. Your late husband is, he's dead. He's no more, okay? And again, I know that times and seasons when you deliver messages are vital. I would not say this to a woman who was on this journey, like it was her first day, her week, her month. She hadn't even reached the first year, okay? This particular person had been on this journey for six years and they had, they were dating someone. So, it, it was different and I just felt the the I felt led to tell them hey your late husband is gone okay you can honor him that was the word they used dishonoring I said you can honor him by living again okay you can honor him in that way and you can honor yourself by allowing yourself to be happy so I want to say that to you who's watching this video it is your right to be happy again do not feel guilty about that. If you decided to start uh, dating the day after you laid your husband in the ground, that would have been your business, okay? Although I am an advocate for healing and, and walking through your journey and cleansing your palate in between relationships, I'm a, a big advocate for that because I know what it looks like when you don't do that and you have relationships and unhandled issues overlapping. So let me just put that caveat in there. But you deserve to be happy again, and you shouldn't let anybody make you feel guilty about that. Whatever happy means to you. Happy may not mean getting married again, because I know some women on this journey who don't want to get married again. I want to get married again in God's perfect timing, though, because I'm enjoying the season that I am in. I'm, in, I, I'm enjoying the season of rediscovering this new person that I'm becoming. I'm enjoying the season of realizing and, and um, recognizing and surrendering to the call that God has on my life. I'm enjoying this new season of launching out into a new business, a new brand, new connections, new partnerships, and all of that. I'm enjoying this season. So basically what I'm saying is I'm not ready for my husband to show up like tomorrow, okay? But I am open to it in God's divine timing. But don't let anyone tell you that it's too soon to smile again. Don't let anyone tell you that it's too soon to smile again. Don't let anyone tell you that it's too soon to move to another state with your children. Don't let anyone tell you that it's too soon to switch jobs, to start that business, or to discover a new hobby. Don't let anyone tell you it's too soon to find another man attractive, okay? You are literally going through a rebirthing. When your husband died, you immediately started going into a rebirthing and discovering who you are again in the aftermath of it all. That does not always mean that there's going to be tears and sorrow. Oftentimes, it can mean new interests, new hobbies, new adventures, new joy, and new happiness. Embrace that. It's a beautiful thing. Don't hide that for anybody. This is your journey to travel the way that you choose. Now, travel it responsibly and with some class and some dignity, but this is your journey to travel as you choose, okay? So you deserve to be happy again. You deserve to embrace all of the emotions that are going on, all of the new things that are going on. It is all a part 
of the journey. So let me say to you again, you deserve to be happy again. And you don't have to hide that for anybody. So that was my sermon for this particular video. Don't forget to check the description section so that you can get my guided healing course. You need my guided healing course in your life. It's going to give you the exact strategies that I created and that I use daily to walk out this healing journey. It's a self-study course, okay? You can study it at your own play, pace, apply it at your own pace, okay? You can go to coachcarmenchloe.com to get that. I am also accepting new coaching clients for my Grieve, Heal, and Live coaching program. There is an application process. You have to complete an application. After you complete your application, you can schedule a 15-minute discovery call with me. The purpose of the discovery call is to see if I am a good fit for you as your coach, okay? I'm not like all the other coaches. See if I'm a good fit for you. See if the program is a right fit for you and to see which option works best because I have different options for my private coaching. I actually have a six-week program and I have a 12-week program. I also offer one-hour clarity calls. So you can get all of that by going to CarmenChloeCoaching.com and don't worry, I'm gonna leave all of that in the description section. So thank you for hanging out with me today. Make sure that you like this video. Make sure that you comment. Make sure that you share. And as always, peace and blessings on the journey.